Hello world, this is Random Fix, and uh, this is my 2016 Toyota Prius. I had never checked uh, the OBD2 port on this car. I was just making a video for you guys, and I realized that this OBD2 port on this car doesn't work. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix this. Uh, this happens a lot on Chevys. Different manufacturers use different methods for disabling power for whatever reason. My car... Uh, OBD2 port doesn't work and it's at 38,000 miles so it's not going to be covered under warranty so I don't want to go that route so I'm going to try to fix it myself and let you know how I'm going to go about doing that so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and check all the, the fuses uh, so I went ahead and uh, got my tester out I'm just going to use one of these settings. I normally like to use a test light, but I let somebody borrow it. So I'm going to test all the fuses over here. There's another uh, relay and fuse box on this side on this Toyota Prius. Uh, it might be a similar setup on old Prius as well. And Toyota might use this method uh, on uh, other cars as well. So uh, I checked the diagram on the fuse cover up here nothing alarming didn't say anything about the OBD2 port and let me go ahead and check all these fuses and, uh, and I'll be right back alright so to check the fuses I'm just gonna use the the connectivity setting on the on my multimeter uh, the test light is a lot faster uh, since you, you just have to use one part so I'm just gonna go check all the fuses make sure that they're not broken without having to remove them so the way this works is if the fuse is good it'll basically make contact so by touching one tip of the of the the, the fuse and the other tip right at the top there it lets me know so I'm gonna check all these. I'll be right back. Let you see. Let you know if I found anything over here. So all these fuses here in the engine compartment checked out, but by the OBD2 port inside the motor, you gotta get on your back. There's gonna be another fuse panel, and I'm gonna show you where that's located, and show you what uh, fuse it is, so you don't have to pull out everything. So this is gonna be located right over here uh, in this corner right by the parking brake and if you look at the if you look at this cover right here the one from the there's a 7.5 7.5 right at the top there it says uh, Right at the top right there, it says OBD, and it's a 7.5 amp uh, mini fuse. Let me go ahead and pull that out, and I'll be right back. So, you can actually visually see that this fuse is burnt inside. But uh, my little tester here, which any multimeter normally has, when you have a broken fuse, you no longer get a beep. See it? So this fuse is burnt. I'm gonna go ahead and replace uh, the that particular fuse and uh, show you guys that the port is working again. All right, I'm back. I went ahead and replaced that fuse and my OBD2 port is working. So if you have a Toyota product, whether it's a, <laughs> it's a a Prius or a Camry uh, check the interior fuse panel uh, located normally in the driver's side footwell thanks for watching guys hit the thumbs up I'll have a link to these uh, scanners and they're very inexpensive below if you're interested and uh, hit the subscribe button and I would love to hear you guys thoughts and if you guys have any cars that you're confused on why your OBD2 port isn't working or you can't find out uh, please leave it in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you.